One day it turns out you have one monster standing there on the front page of your book. And that's fine because it's just one monster. What could one monster do? Maybe it'll go away. Except it doesn't. It gets kind of lonely so it invites another monster. And this second monster is a little bigger and a little scarier. But still, it's only two monsters. They'll probably go away soon, so we'll just ignore them and... Wait a minute, if there are two monsters and they each invite another monster, well then those two monsters make it four monsters total. So we started with one and we doubled and doubled to get four, but probably they'll be all gone soon and... Oh no, those four each invited another monster. So now we have a page with four whole monsters on it. One to one to two to four, that's eight total monsters which of course means each of them will invite a new monster. Now we have a page with eight monsters and it's getting pretty crowded. But now we have 16 total, so our next page, they're not going down to zero, they're inviting 16 more monsters. And this page is getting super crowded and they're fighting and eating each other and chasing each other. Now we have 32 total, so on the next page, we get 32 new invitees coming in here. And oh my goodness, this is getting to be a lot of monsters. And now we're gonna have to double the page size just so we can fit 64 new invitees on and we have 128 total. We very quickly went from one, added one to make two, two more to make four, four more to make eight, eight more to make 16, 16 to 32, 32 to 64, 64 to 128 total monsters, and now of course the next step requires us to double the page size again, so now we have 256 monsters filling this paper, all because one monster invites another, that one simple rule, and now we're totally out of paper and we have to wash our hands of this whole situation.